All right, so um, first of all, uh, I want to say uh, thank you again to all the healthcare workers, all of the people who are um, are um, really putting themselves on the line for us every single day uh, in the field say thank you to all the people who what how are you outside dog come on go back inside there's hawks out here guys look at this guy come here come here bud come here hey come on hey so probably like you guys uh I mean, I'm sure you guys know things have changed a lot. Come on, go, go inside. Um, things are, uh, um, like I was saying before, super unpredictable. Um, and one thing I've done to keep my head and heart kind of moving forward is, um, is obviously time with my family uh but i think sometimes even that can you know everything needs to be in moderation uh what else has helped me working out um eating well uh and then i wrote some things down in my phone uh, that i wanted to share but i realized when i go to my notes now i can't pop back to you can't hear me but um, hey, Lele, congrats on your documentary thing. I gotta check that out. Everybody go watch, uh, Lele Pons. She has a new doc out. Uh, I think it's called, um, something with Lele. But I'm so, so, so tight. Um, so I was gonna invite some people on this chat and just talk kind of candidly about maybe some people's struggles in this time and uh and just see where this takes us secret life yeah secret life of lele It's huge. This bee is huge. There's a bee around me, and it's huge. Hello? Hi, brother. Hello? I can't hear you, bro. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, John. No, I, fuck. No, hello. Wait, I was, I, I was not expecting this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. How are you? No, I'm good. I'm so good. I'm good. good. I'm glad. Where are you no, from? I just. Don't cry. 
cry. <sighs> okay, I'm so fine. My day is uh, complete now. How are That's you? That's awesome. I I'm I'm really good. Can you hear me? Is the wind too heavy? No, it's so perfect. It's That's so good. Perfect. I'm taking so much right now. Oh Where God. are you? Fuck. I'm on my balcony alone. Oh my God. No, with my friends. With my friends. No. What country do you live in? Oh my God, I'm taking so much. How are you, Justin? I'm good. Where are you? Where do you? Where are you from? Denmark. Why can't I hear you? I can't hear you. You can't hear me now? You from Denmark? Stop calling me. Oh. I'm I'm just. There you go. So you're from. You're from. You're from Denmark. Yes. Yes. Wow. And um. Oh, Justin, I love you so much. I love you so much. If you could, if you could try to, if. If you could try to reach inside of yourself, right, and and pull out maybe one reason why you're so excited to be on this phone call, on this chat, what would it be? Why, why would why would you say that this means so much to you? Because you have helped me through my teenage years. Um, you were your music was just um, oh my god, helping me through so many things, my struggles, and I just. Oh, I'm just, oh, I can't believe this. I'm so glad you accept my request. Oh my God, you just helped me through so much. And yeah, I, yeah, I need to talk to you. Oh so, God, would you so would you say the emotion that you're feeling is overwhelmed? Overwhelmed and I'm so happy. I, I just can't Good. believe this. I'm, oh, I feel so lucky. I'm so happy, Justin. Thank you so much. Thank no you worries. for your music and for helping me through so many things. Can I ask, um, what what was it exactly? What do you feel like really helped you with my music in a in a hard time? I just, for me, your music was just I, you know, I I felt so bad for you know what I went through, and um, my escape was listening to your music. I was just you were my everything, you know, Twitter. I was addicted, literally addicted. Wow. To just, that was my escape from all the bad things. Wow. Um, so you, yeah, I still, yeah, I'm still addicted. I'm still obsessed right now. Uh, I'm 23 now, and I just. Well, yeah. um. Yeah, sorry, someone's calling. So bad timing. Wow. That's okay. That's okay. Um, what is there anything been specifically has? What do you feel? Um, do you feel music is like just this? Do you think my music in particular, or do you have? Um, what was it about my music that brought you through a place that really, um, really helped you? Um, it's uh, all of your songs. Is that- I can relate and. You are, you know, it's just, yeah, your voice, your, your soul, your, yeah, all your, yeah, just everything, and also uh-huh. born, born to be somebody is just, yeah, it has helped me a lot, and wow. I'm just, I, I'm, yeah. It's just I so interesting, talk. I love to hear, uh, I love to hear stuff like this, because obviously, you know, I, I make music with the hopes that it's gonna inspire people and help people get through tough times. So when I hear stuff like this and when I see uh, the impact that I'm able to make, it it, it definitely encourages me um, because just like everybody else, you know, I have days where I, you know, don't feel good enough or I want to quit or I feel like, you know, am I really am I really making a difference or, you know, I'll see a lot of negative stuff and. And even in my position, I'll, I'll start believing those things. And uh, so it, it's really good to, to know that, A, I'm not alone. B, uh, my music is inspiring people and is helping people. And C, that um, we are, I don't even have a C. But C, uh, I just I just appreciate you and I, and I appreciate this talk. So thank you for, thank for you. that. Thank you so much, Justin. Thank you and Thank you for everything. Literally, you you saved my life. You, you did. Thank uh, you. Thank I, you for 
shame, man. I'm so blessed. I'm so thankful. I just, uh -huh. I, I, I can't believe this. I'm so thankful. And thank you for wow. being there for me, being in this world and inspiring me, inspiring people. And this album changes. Has, I made a change uh, two months oh. ago and your album came out. And it, yeah, it's wow. just the right time in my life I think to get this album. Wow. Thank you for saying that. And um, I just think it's such a good... Oops. Yes. Sorry, I'm coming back outside. Um, I think it's such a good time. And it's just such a random time that I came out with this album called Changes. And the world is going through the most change it's ever has. It ever has. And so... Um, I had no idea this was going to happen, and um, it, uh, that song changes in general. I mean, it just, it's a song that it says, you know, sometimes I, sometimes I, sometimes I move like water, some days I burn like fire, some days I want to push further, some days I want to do nothing, and I think that's the reality of the situation that we're in. I think sometimes we're feeling hopeful that all of this stuff is going to come to an end, Um and life can go back to normal, as as they say. Um, and I think sometimes that sometimes we just feel like, you know, de defeated. And um, and uh, I think one thing people need to know is that that is just the the human condition of the waves of of our emotions. And um, uh, one thing that's helped me uh, in my life is obviously my anchor to my faith and what I believe in. And um, knowing that, you know, I I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. I don't know what's going to happen the next day. But um, I do believe that my soul is actually going to live on for eternity. And I'm going to live in heaven with Jesus. And I'm forgiven and I'm loved and I'm valued. And so... Um, hopefully that can resonate with people and people can feel that and um, hopefully, uh, you know, um, just be inspired by my music. So. And it has inspired me and I know so many people so much and it does a huge impact on so many people and you are just... Thank I you. look up to you so much, Justin. Really, thank I you. do, and I'm so grateful and thankful for you being in this world and inspiring people. Really, thank I'm, you. you mean so much to me. Really, you, thank you. You're my everything. I know it sounds a little crazy when you're 23, but that's okay. Really, I'm. Yeah, I can't be what? myself. I'm shaking so much. That's okay. Um, I think. Uh, I think. It's honestly an honor to to be able to play that role in anybody's life. You know, I know we don't know each other, but you know, um, the way music works is that anybody can listen to it at any time and feel connected to that person. So it's not weird that you feel that way. Music is so powerful, and it can help you get through a lot of crappy situations and and, and yeah. feelings. So um, it has, yeah. I'm really grateful that I was able to do that for you. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. I love you so much. Okay. It's nice to meet you. So nice to meet you, Justin. Okay. Can't wait when you come to Denmark. Okay. Take care. Thank Bye. You. Thank you. Aww. That's a good feeling. some fans some people are gonna talk about life and dude i love that i love that you talk to fans thanks man you're, really good. you're a really good guy it makes you happy to watch it. oh man i appreciate it what's your beanie say noah it says noah it's a really good fitting beef it fits so well it's it's comfortable it's hard to find a good beanie sometimes you know what i mean dude, you know me you know i only wear beanies you crush beanies Bro, You're always beanie. in a beanie. What happened, man? You woke up today beanie-less. Uh, hold up. That's funny because... Uh -huh. tell, 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 
tell everybody uh, the music you're making these days, and and uh, you know, obviously, you uh, are an incredible musician, artist. Uh, what what did you put out recently that you're so proud of? I uh, just put out a single. It's called "Give Up on Us." I put it out on Friday. Let's go. Um, you know, I think it's just I just put it out because I got in a weird relationship and I felt like I was putting too much into it than getting anything out of it. You know what I'm so I was like in my room and I was like, might as well write a song about this feeling and feeling like you need to get out of a relationship but you don't have the courage or confidence to do so and you feel like you're not getting the love you deserve back and like you know you get content so people are just like, I'll just try to figure it out, try to make it work. And knowing that, like, it's not going to work and knowing that, like, you have to be mature and be like, let's end this and let's move on. And, like, I don't want to, but it has to happen for the both of us so we can live a happy life, that whole thing, you know? So you are obviously, like, you're so talented, so gifted. You have so many incredible <laughs> qualities about you. But one thing I love is that you use your platform and to tell a real story, to tell your story, to tell, to inspire people. Um, explain why that's important to people that are watching that have gifts like you have and have, um, you know, talents and why it's so important to use that gift to help people because you've had a a really crazy story. Um, obviously, um, you know, uh, a lot of that's public, but, um, just, just tell people kind of how, uh, how, music has changed your life and how using your platform to help people really is the way to way to go um i think just for me for people who don't know i had cancer about five and a half years ago and they gave me a couple months to live with the cancer and so for me taking that and knowing that like what do i want in my life and how did i feel and taking those moments and realizing that like i might have a couple months to live at 20 years old and how do i take that and how do i do something great and how do I leave a mark behind and I realized I wouldn't have left anything behind if I passed away at 20 because I was so insecure and living and growing up and trying to figure out who I am in this world and then getting sick made me realize what I love to do and what I love to do the passion is music but the purpose for me isn't the music the passion is the music I think the purpose is to help people I think the purpose is to is to make people find their passion make them feel like they're happy and make them feel loved and you know what i'm saying so it's like for me taking the pain and taking all the trauma and turning it into music was the easiest way for me because it's not easy to talk about shit sometimes it's easy for me to write about it and then express it through song so i think taking pain and turning it into action and turning it into something that you love action so it's like i took it into action into making music but you could take your pain and turn it into feeding someone, you can turn it into being a doctor, you can turn it into being an artist and draw something, you can turn it into helping your neighbors, but like take the pain that you're dealing with, because we're all dealing with pain and doing something. All of us. So it's like, all of us. yeah, I think that's what I relate with that, because if you're going through your thing, with, with your sickness and all that, and I think you've made the biggest change, you're going through that, mm-hmm. um, and that's been really inspiring, you knowing you throughout the years and like seeing like the growth that you had and just so soon is like very inspiring and like admirable. Thank you, man. You said a couple of things that I was really um that really touched my heart just now. Um one thing is that pa- your passion is the music, but your purpose is actually helping people. And I I think I can resonate to that so much because you know, we have you also said another thing that was really profound. You said, you said, um, we all have pain. And I think with Instagram and things on the internet, and I think a lot of people feel like they're alone in their pain. They feel like they see this glorified world and this glorified, uh, you know, social media. And they, they think that people are, are really happy. And yeah, we can have happy moments, but all of us are facing pain to some degree in one area or another. So just thank you, first of all, for saying that. Second of all, um, I can relate to the fact that, you know, I God has given me these talents to be able to sing and to dance and to, you know, entertain. And, and yes, that's a passion, but without a purpose, uh, it's just a passion and there's no purpose behind it. And so I think what you said there was so, so, so profound because 
there's so many people who are talented who don't know what to do with their talent because they don't have their purpose or they're using their talent but it's in almost in vain because they're they're using it for their own selfish gain and so i think when you can find your purpose um with your with your passion it it really can um elevate you to the next level and really you really can find um fulfillment in that you know absolutely and knowing that like i think now is the perfect time to find that out where you're just sitting at home this is the perfect time to explore your passion to explore things that like you wish you could have done like sewing mm. if someone wants to sew like go fucking sew you know like, like mm. if there's like it's like the simplest things of like i don't know i feel like you gotta be there for yourself and once you love yourself you have to be there for your community so start being there for your neighbors start helping out your local churches start mm. helping out like there's so many things that we could do as people to help and when you help you know how fulfilled you feel and like even just helping someone for a food drive. Like I did that a couple months ago and like when I was in a bad place and it just like brought me out of some, some shit, you know, and it brings you back into like a good, you know, a good flow. And I think just people watching and people just need to feel loved and people need to feel like they are worth something and not feel like they're worthless. Cause we all feel like that sometimes. And I don't think like know that, mm. you know, we all feel the same thing. So from, I think it's just now it's like, we need to be there for people. We need to just start living a life that I feel like everyone deserves. It's hard. I don't know. It's just like, it's hard because I see a lot of like things, like see a lot of people in pain. A lot of people hit me up. It's like talk, talk, the craziest shit. So I'm sure with you too. Mm. But yeah, man. Yeah. I, um, going back to, and, and it's just all these little, these little words that, you know, people hear passion, pain, purpose uh those are three p's i think you could make a a little thing these are the three p's passion pain and purpose and find your passion um use your pain and um find your purpose and i think for for you you experienced this severe um sickness um which caused you to you know kind of come to the end of yourself in a way of like you know, I'm, I'm looking at possibly, you know, death. And a lot of people don't want to look at death. They don't want to face death. They don't want to even, rem they don't want to know that death even exists. They don't, they do, but they just push it to the side because they're scared. They don't know what's going to happen next. And so they're living their life for the second and the moment. And the things that happen in the second and the moment, oftentimes you wake up in the morning with regret. You know what I mean? And so... Um, I think my, my, uh, with kind of some wisdom that I've acquired over the years of making a lot of dumb mistakes and, uh, is that, you know, we, what, what is my purpose? Therefore you have to look at death. You have to look at the fact that we are going to die eventually. And it's a scary thing. Yeah. And it's not something that we're trying to scare people, but it's, it's, it's a thought that re it, it forces you to go because you were forced, you and I were forced at a, at a young age, me, because I was doing a lot of drugs and I was actually so deep into it and no one really knew that I was, you know, my security was checking my pulse at night to see if I was alive, you know? And so with that being, and with you, you, with your cancer, um, you know, not knowing whether, you know, you were going to die or not. And that's, that's a, that's a, that's kind of what you call coming to the to the end of yourself and uh with that being said um forces you to either give up and just say well this is it i can just you know whatever or you can say what what was my purpose on this earth did i have a purpose was there a reason or am i just because you know there's a lot of people who don't believe in in a in a god or don't believe in you know they believe in this is all chance and as I look at this, as I look at, you look at this very, very quick, I'm going to turn this around. Um, you look at the trees and you look at the sky and you look at the details of just a, a leaf and you look at all that detail right there and you say to yourself, that was an accident. You look at your, the lines in your fingers and you, and, and you look at all the intricate detail. There's no way that this is a chance that that a bang it's like 
It's like shaking up a box of gold and then a Rolex just pops out. Pops out, yeah. So I think <laughs> it's just a reminder to people that, you know, we aren't an accident. This We do have a purpose and, um, and uh, you know, God will reveal himself to you as you keep looking. Do you remember, do you remember what you said at church when you spoke? That, I have it in my journal, actually. Hold on, let me grab it. That one thing I made you, like, repeat. I think it's on the background of your phone. I don't know if it still is. Yeah. Bro, that changed the game for me. I want Ready? You to know. Just say, uh, tell people, because this is some good good stuff. Let me find it in my journal. That, that was amazing. How's, how's, how's Hales doing? How's the life over there? You guys look like you're living in a nice little... Man, we're so blessed. Uh, Haley's do she's she's working. She has her passion that she's she's uh, you know waking up and, and tapping into every day. And um, we both have what's good about our relationship is we both have our own thing. You know, she yeah. she she has passions. I have passions, and you know we can we can kind of separate, do our thing, come back, and uh, you know be be together. Did you find the thing or no? I'm getting there. No, I can't find. This it's like, like everything from church. No, totally. It's like there's like integrity, indecision, imbalance. Uh, uh, integrity, indecision, imbalance. Uh, in, in, indecision. Yes. Uh, integrity. So it's like if all those things are are lined up you're less likely to be anxious in that moment because those things are in order, you know? Like, if you have a... Oh, I found it. Okay. Okay, go ahead, baby. It's intake, indecision, integrity, intention, imagination, isolation, imbalance, intake. Oh, that's it. That's it. Boom. I got that from uh, Stephen Furtick. You know Stephen Furtick? No. Uh, he's a he's a pastor. Um, but uh, that was amazing though when you when you said that and you you explained it at that moment when you were like just yeah. thinking about going to sing and all that that whole thing. Like, hey, I have, exactly. I have, I've been using that every day since. Honestly, that's awesome. Because if you're doing anything, it just like it just it's so simple yet it just like teaches absolutely you, like, where yeah you're at, you know? exactly because we we are only on our present moment right now. You know, and and it's really hard. I heard a quote the other day that I thought was really cool is obviously we have to we have to think and we have to make decisions, but there was a there was something that said like people who think all the time only can think about only have thoughts to think about or something to, or something like that. I thought it was kinda of tight. And not like action. Well just like, like Well just look I don't know, like I feel like when you look in, like, I'm right here, I'm in nature, obviously, you know how nature is so important, you and Jaden, and always, you guys are always doing things, like going to the top of mountains and just chilling in nature, you know, so it's like, when you're in with nature, a lot of times, you can just look at the nature, and you're not really thinking about much, you're just grateful to be surrounded by God's creation, you know what I mean? Nature is number one thing, for anybody ever watching, like, always be in nature. Always, that's always. That saved my life, bro. Like, just nature, some good friends, some good conversation. We have to get on a Zoom call still. We yeah, we do have to get on a Zoom call still. Yeah, just got to get everybody on. This. <laughs> just. Man, are you sponsored by Zoom, bro? Dude, stop, bro. We need to... <laughs> bro, don't change. Yo, what's good with what's next for Justin though? Hit them, hit them. Oh, uh, all right. Awesome. Well, I was supposed to be on tour right now. It's crazy. I was supposed to be like, you know, dancing, singing, performing. Yeah, go off. yeah dude. Damn, that was so sad. Obviously, things have like taken a crazy turn, and uh, so we don't really know when public gatherings of that amount are gonna be okay again. Um, yeah. So uh, basically, right now I'm just in the studio. I'm making tunes. I'm creating um uh you know doing all that sort of stuff and um yeah kind of just um playing things by ear at this point 
going on going on runs. Pardon? Going on any runs over there on the green fields? Oh yeah. Uh, I went. I woke up the other morning really early and I went for a run around my property. It's, look at look at this. It's I'm so freaking blessed. Look at this greenery, bro. Bro, me and the boys are gonna come camp. Please. Please. We're just gonna come with tent, love our social distance, and then Please. we'll just camp out there. I love you, man. That was so, I love you, bro. I'm, I'm proud so of you. I'm so grateful for you. I'm grateful for you. I'm proud of you. I'm inspired always. Thank you, man. Keep, keep bringing love, okay? Sir. Timmy's. Tim Hortons. Have you ever been there? No. It's a Canadian staple. When you come to Canada, we'll go to Tim Hortons. That's all. That's all we need to do. I love you, bro. All right, bro. Take care. I love you. That was Harry Hudson. All right, you guys. We'll talk later.